so this is the example for ionic bond that is formation of sodium chloride so you already know what is the uh, atomic number for sodium atom sodium atom what is the electronic uh, uh, what is the atomic number 11 so what is the electronic configuration 2 8 and 1 right uh, k shell l shell m shell so 2 8 and uh, 1 okay uh, the next one is chlorine atom so what is the atomic number 17 okay 17 uh, so what is the electronic configuration 2 8 uh, 7 okay so uh, yeah i want to uh, remind you one thing that uh, i told you know in the octet rule what is octet rule that is uh, all the atoms all the atoms they are uh, try to get the stable electronic configuration like uh, noble gases right mm, uh, that is uh, they want to uh, uh, they want to get that uh, eight electrons in the valence shell that is uh, it want to attain stable electronic configuration uh, like uh, noble gases likewise here also uh, in uh, see um, sodium atom in the valence shell one uh, electron will be there in the valence shell configuration uh, valence shell right so in uh, see that uh, chlorine atom that electronic configuration of chlorine atom here uh, seven electrons are there in sodium one electrons are there in uh, one electron are there in valence shell okay so uh, come to uh, sodium atom if sodium atom if it loses one electron it get the electronic configuration of uh, what uh, like, no, like noble gases right 2 and 8 if it loses one electron it get it can attain the um, stable electronic configuration right so come to chlorine here uh, in that uh, 2 8 7 in the valence shell 7 electrons are there if it gain one electron from other atom so it can what is that uh, change of electronic configuration 2 8 8 again uh, it can attain the stable electronic configuration so both the atoms want to get the electron stable electronic configuration so now sodium uh, going to losses one electron and uh, chlorine atom is going to get one electron from the uh, sodium okay sodium atom so i want to uh, differentiate that electrons of uh, sodium and chlorine so for that uh, sodium i use uh, dot uh, uh, to indicate electrons and the chlorine atom i put a cross mark okay so here see so one electron is transferred from sodium to chlorine so if uh, one electron is transferred to chlorine means what will that uh, uh, what will change what change occurs that sodium form a cation that is sodium plus ion okay now you are uh, you don't say that is a sodium atom you have to say sodium cation because it loses one electron okay so uh, it can form uh, sodium cation na plus positive ion okay so uh, come to uh, chlorine means it is going to get one electron from the sodium right sodium atom so uh, now you can say that is uh, the chlorine it form chlorine anion so sodium plus chlorine minus that is sodium chloride understand all of you so sodium plus chlorine minus okay sodium cation chlorine anion because uh, sodium atom loses one electron so sodium plus if it uh, loses two electron means uh, how you have to write Na2 plus. If uh, calcium in case of K calcium means Ca2 plus. Likewise, we have to take no. So, uh, Na plus Cl minus. So, uh, that uh, that wise we can get that formula sodium chloride. Understand all of you ma. So, uh, this is one example. Um, one more example also given you. Uh, so, what is the homework today for you is you have to write that magnesium formation of magnesium chloride. Okay, it's an example for ionic bond. You have to uh, write. Okay, clearly you have to write that chemical bonding. Okay, between magnesium and chlorine. Okay, so this is the homework for you, ma. Thank you.